Hey, what's going on everybody in this video on so rare NBA for game week 27 I want to say maybe it's 28 we are going to be going over a lot of value plays there's a ton that I have taken note of here for you guys and then as always on Twitter I post out more value plays you can see here so follow me at best dunks or in the link down below on Twitter to get even more value plays closer to the time that the contests are actually going to start because of recording this the day before but still a lot of great value here so in this video we're going to look at my lineups from last week as well as upcoming competitions and some value plays so to start off this video also going to mention nba top shot if you're not on that that's the other thing that my channel is mostly about so there were some big pack drops today rookie debut drop and hot packs so i made a full video if you're interested on the channel it'll be linked at the end of the video on the end card also linked down below but keegan murray was one of the prizes of the pack 39 dollars right now low ask seems pretty low i thought this one was going to be in the 40s i guess one dollar off and if we actually look at another rookie debut from series four pablo bancaro price of his moment has been all over the place it was uh, let's go to 30-day graph. It was in the 60s, 70s to start, then climbed way up to like 120s, and now is back down to low to mid 100. So interesting to see the change in Top Shot. And if you're not on Top Shot, definitely sign up as well if you want. It's been all over the place, not gonna lie, but still some fun to be had. And I wouldn't be putting in tons of money into it to be honest. So back here to so rare now, you can see my lineups and I've been kind of stuck in this rut of becoming really close to winning prizes and not winning. Obviously it's a long season, haven't won in a couple game weeks, uh, kind of a little frustrating, but I don't have the best players either. So I, I haven't spent up, uh, I think the most I've bought a player for is 30 bucks so far. So I did buy a Christian Wood terrible timing because he just broke his thumb, I think. So he might be out a month or more. But he had a good game. So did Jaron Jackson. So did Tobias Harris. All got 50 plus. And I still didn't cash. So pretty crazy. And this lineup was just terrible. I guess if I put Dort in for Nance here and then downgraded Covington, maybe even to Christopher, I, I would have cashed in the limited champion. But... This lineup was just not good, and this one was was good, but just Nance didn't do good. Covington did okay. These guys all exceeded their expectations by a good amount, so it's really hard to cash in a so rare finding out. So before we get into the values, let's look at some of the upcoming competitions. This week, all the same except for we got a common Western Conference and a limited Western Conference with 415 prizes, so they upped the prize amount it looks like on the limited Western Conference and downed the prizes on the limited champion because this is only 1150 and let's see what it is now. Thought it was 1500. Okay, so it was only 1160. So now let's just get into these value picks. I have a ton to get through in this one. If you guys are buying manager sales, it's a good way to do it, but you can also come to the new card auction over here and get even better deals sometimes. Definitely recommend trying that out first before you just come to the manager sales, you might get a better deal. So the first ones we got here, big news is that uh, Mitchell Robinson is injured. So Isaiah Hardenstein is gonna be one of the best plays here for a couple weeks. He's only at 10 cap, his price is 21. When he gets big minutes, he could put up big scores. He hasn't gotten over 18 minutes in his last five, but I know that he can get 30, maybe even 40 when he's getting close to 30 minutes. So Hartenstein definitely it's going to cost you $21 for a guy who maybe only is relevant for a couple weeks. Could definitely win you some competitions here at a cap of just 10. The other news is LaMelo Ball is out for at least a couple games. So at least this game week, maybe the next two game weeks or something like that could be even longer who knows so to take advantage of that James Booknight is a cheap alternative and cheap risk here to take at a seven cap you can get him for three bucks still the other one that is definitely that is a uh, better and people that are 
are buying into more is going to be Bryce McGovern's. It's still only $10, actually, with a cap of 5 And then the other guy would be Theo Maladon, but he doesn't even have a card, which is kind of weird. So can't buy him. Next, like I mentioned earlier, Christian Wood, who I just bought for $30, is injured. So they don't have Wood or Bertans. Finney Smith just came back, though, so it's going to be a little harder to get value now with Finney Smith back. He's probably just going to eat a bunch of those minutes, but Dwight Powell is one you could go to. Cap is just 15 10 bucks. Another could be Bertans, a little riskier, but he's only 7 bucks with a cap of 7 And then lastly, JaVale McGee. I would think he's only a 6 cap, but then you can get him for 5 bucks. I would think they would go Powell at center and Finney Smith at power forward. And then small forward uh, is going to be like Josh Green. But they could even go small with jo- with Josh Green at power forward. His price is $12 for a 16 cap. So a lot of options to look at on the Mavericks. I would say my favorite with the highest upside out of the guys we just looked at from the Mavericks would be JaVale McGee, actually. And he's cheap, 5 bucks, cap of 6 Hit a negative one last last game, but he hit a 12 here in just eight minutes. So, I mean, if you get close to 20 minutes, he could get you, you know, double or more than 12. So, McGee uh, could be a pretty sneaky one. All right, then it looks like Sabonis is going to miss at least one more game. So, Rashawn Holmes at a cap of seven, eleven dollars $11 for him. He hit a massive game. Last one, in 30 minutes, he got 28 points. So without Sabonis, he's going to get you some of these scores. I mean, they might even put him back in the rotation now because he played so well when Sabonis is back. And he could be seeing, you know, 15 minutes at a cap of 7. Not terrible. Well, where did he, I don't know where he went. <laughs> but um, cap of 7. And, I mean, if he gets even 15 minutes with Sabonis, still going to be pretty good value. You could hit 15 to 20. So we're at points in 15 minutes. The next one here is we have some more injury news in New Orleans. Najee Marshall, who takes some power forward minutes away. Possibly you could get Larry Nance getting some bigger minutes. He hasn't gotten big minutes in a while, but when he does, he puts up some big scores. You can see 25 minutes, 27 points. And then besides that, he hasn't gotten 20 minutes in a game in the last five, but... His cap's still pretty low at 18, so decent value there and, and fairly expensive at 11, though. And then some last injury news to look out for for this week is Hawks, Trey Young possibly out, and Bogdanovich, which would open up a lot of guard minutes. They also cut some guy, I can't remember his name, Jarrett Culver, I think, actually. So going to open up some minutes there for sure. Aaron Holiday, 6 bucks at a cap of 9 could even look to is Justin Holiday still on their team? Yeah, he's there and he's a dollar. Less than two dollars. Dollar eighty six. If both of those guys sit out, you know, you could see fifteen to twenty minutes from Justin Holiday here, even though he hasn't played. Alright, I just want to do a quick lineup build here to end this video. I haven't done this, I don't think, live in a video. And just gonna kinda wing it. So I'll always go with Luca here, because his cap's so high and the dude cap doesn't count your MVP here. So not a ton of games. Um, I actually didn't check before if anyone has three games, but they usually don't on these weekend slates. I think that would mean they would be playing three games in a row. A sneaky play we're here would be to go to Sabonis because he has two games, so people might be staying away from him because he could miss one, but he has two chances, so Sabonis could be a sneaky one, but that's a lot of cap here. I might go down here to Jamal Murray. Save me some cap. Go Miles Turner as well. So I still got 24. Could go Darius Garland, hoping that uh, Mitchell misses another game. And his cap's only 33. So now we have 16. I guess I didn't even use any of my good value. Josh Green or Powell. I think I would just go with Powell here. So that seems like a decent lineup. Uh, just a really quick build. I didn't even look below if I have any some really good value guys here. But I think this is a pretty solid lineup to to send out there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, check out my other video on Top Shot. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter for more value picks towards the start of the game week. And I'll catch you guys in another video.